Hey guys, you know what? <laughs> Today is going to be high five, but I want to tell right. you something first. Okay, okay. I want to tell you that I want to honor you by giving the program over to you. So high five! High, high five. five! High five! High five! High five! High five! High five. High five. High five. And I'm going to honor you by giving my part of the program that she gave to me to you right now. Oh, and I'm <laughs> going to honor Aretha Franklin. Okay by singing a little bit of her song because it's the topic we have today. Oh, wow. Okay. And Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E Find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E Take out the TCP. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Forgive us, Arita. And I honored you by not singing with them. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think about respect, Mary? I think it's something we could work on a little bit in our nation at this current time. Seems to me that uh, everybody's gotten very caught up in what's good for them and has sure. forgot to consider um, what would be good for somebody else. And sometimes you don't agree with someone, you're frustrated with someone, but it doesn't mean you get to disrespect them. You get to make them feel like their opinion is not worth anything. No. I think we learn from the Word of God that we're supposed to love our neighbors the same way we love ourselves. And so maybe we could interject respect and honor back into um, our society through the body of Christ. Sure. I, I looked up the definition of respect, and it means to have a high regard or an esteem for someone because of their abilities or qualities or, or, or just who they are and how they are. We respect the Lord. Actually, that word, you know, when we, when we say we fear the Lord, um, uh, that doesn't mean we're scared of the Lord and, right. you know, and his wrath. What it means is basically that we have a healthy respect for the Lord, that we, that we love him and honor him for who he is and what he does. Um, that's, that, that's how we treat him. That's what the love that he put in our hearts uh, is supposed to do. And so I think that's the same way that we're to treat others. We're to have a high, a, a high regard for, for them according to who they are, what they do, and, 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 and their personalities. Exactly. Absolutely. I think in this world right now, everyone's looking to blame shift, to it's not me, but it's all about me. Mm -hmm. Even in the church, we get this thing where we say we want to be honored wherever we go. <laughs> no, our job is to honor. That's right. Let God bring out anything else for us, but let's do what we're supposed to do. In fact, the scripture says... Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. So we've got to first honor God for who he is, worship God for who he is, and then honor one another and ourselves. I've always had a sly, uh, smirky kind of an attitude about that phrase. It says, I don't want to go somewhere where I'm tolerated. I want to go somewhere where I'm celebrated. Oh, why is your wrong? Oh, my God. <laughs> Everybody wants to be celebrated, of course. but I think you at least as much, probably even more, need to have a, a heart that's prepared to celebrate somebody else rather Absolutely. than to be the focus of celebration. <laughs> exactly. Right. You know, I was thinking that right in the very beginning, in the book of Genesis, the Word of God tells us that we have been made in the image and likeness of God. Yes. That's so right. if you can't find any other reason <laughs> to show respect for people or to honor them, you could go back to this basic comment in the Word of God. They are made in the same image and likeness of God that you are made in. It's time for us to really practice being kind to one another. Yes. And in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, the Word of God tells us about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And it says, But the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions, joy that overflows, peace that subdues, let me see, patience that endures, kindness in action, a life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart, strength of spirit. Those are all the accommodating fruits of the Holy Spirit or fruit of the Holy Spirit that live inside of us. Yeah. Each one of these would be valuable to demonstrate to people who, and I believe people are really looking for this. They're looking to feel respect or some value. Even if you don't agree with somebody, maybe you don't agree with their political stance, maybe you don't agree with them on a certain scripture. Even if you don't agree with them, 
you can respectfully listen to them yeah. and you can respectfully love them anyway. You know, yes. uh, I'm into power evangelism as much as anybody. I love miracles. I love prophetic words over people. I love healing. I love those kind of things. But you know what, what real power evangelism is? Is to do what that scripture that you just read said and to love somebody. Yes. You want to be into power evangelism? Then be into power love. I think that's uh, something I could use a little work on. Uh, maybe you could too. But you know what? The Holy Spirit's going to help us both. Yes. Always Amen. respect God and respect others. We love you. High five. High five. High Ooh, five. High what five. you want? They Maybe got I got it. it. Ooh, what, what do you, you need? need? You they know I got, got it. it. Yeah. All right. <laughs>